to be a successful society photographer, you have to build connection between the photographer and the person portrayed. Her picture really captures the fundamental human connections that refreshes our memory all the time. One of the most famous social photographers of New York City. And I happen to be one of the people whom she's photographed, and it's a great photo. There are so many wonderful people of New York social and design and art and news world in this gallery. So I know Annie through my magazine, Glow Beauty Health and Wellness, which she covered for many years in many charities. So Annie has as big a heart as she does talent. So she always captures everyone and makes everyone look happy and beautiful, and she's putting all of the plastic surgeons out of business. She does everything with grace and style and warmth, and we love her dearly. We're friendly. We met many years ago um, doing a charity event at Kevin McGovern's house, and she's been so supportive of all these charities. All the people here tonight are here because of her and her, her passion for what she's doing. I've had the pleasure of working with Annie on several events, and each event had her undivided attention. She was up till 4 or 5 in the morning getting the shots ready. Are you ready? Oh, well, I've been waiting. Annie Watt is the, the second finest photographer in the world because I, am, I happen to be the finest celebrity photographer in the world. I photograph for the New York Post which is a newspaper in America. This is the most kindest photographer and friend that I have met in several years. She's very inclusive, she's beautiful, inside and out. Such a big, bright, beautiful smile that whenever I walked into a room for any society event or social gala, she was a warm welcome. And the joy, the joy on my face, even seeing her, was beautifully expressed in one of the photos she has of me tonight at the show. Annie is not only a great photographer, but a fabulous woman and a great friend. I'm so happy receiving hosting Annie Watt today with all the memories we all have of our pictures and having her subjects, all these people that I know and are here today uh, on the walls everywhere. I've been a professional event photographer now for 15 years. And I'm happy to say this is my second exhibition and it was most successful. I had over 300 guests. I have 300 pieces in the show, celebrities, socialites, politicians, um, and a lot of friends. I started in this industry, God, as a fluke. It was really funny because um, my prior career didn't have me doing photography at all, but uh, a friend of mine said she would like me to photograph her two boys with autism. So I did, and I said, what are you going to do with the photos? She said, I don't know. So I submitted them to magazines and got it published, a little bit about the school, the program on autism. And I said, that's it. This is what I like doing. I like photographing events. I like getting the word out. I like helping people. And it was just clear that I needed to get into helping charities and fundraisers through my photography and through my media outreach. So this was a party tonight to reach out to the media that publishes me all the time to my friends and clients and uh, hopefully potential clients. So I think we had a great success because here on December 18th, 2019, it was snowing and 300 people still showed up. So I'm looking forward to my next exhibition in the springtime, <laughs> not next spring, 2020, but a spring in the future. And uh, thank you all for coming.